Namaste beautiful yogis. I designed Hintrava Yoga as a holistic system for mind, body and heart that combines ancient spiritual yoga teachings with high intensity interval training that will get you in the best shape of your life. I have thousands of testimonies from people that have done and followed my classes for years. Come on to my website and read through them. They're extremely inspiring. On my membership I have 400 classes and right now I'm adding a three month beginner program that can get you into the more advanced classes I'm also a brand new mom so I'm offering a lot of tools for new moms how they can lose weight get back in shape feel positive my membership is the best offer out there on the internet because it offers you classes for every occasion so come on over to my website sign up for my membership and I'll see you on the mat namaste Namaste beautiful yogis. Today we are doing traditional power yoga class. Starting at the front of the mat, spread the toes open and allow the four corners of each foot to sink deep into your mat. Roll the shoulders back and down and begin to feel a lift from the feet up. Foundation is established, feeling the foundation and beginning to feel a lift, an energetic lift from the feet up into the ankles, into the shin bones and calves, knees, thighs, feeling the inner thighs, the hamstrings, quadriceps, hips, aligning properly, slight elongation of the tailbone so that you feel an opening of the hips and a strong stance here, without over tucking, just enough to engage the core, and now feeling the core, obliques and back included, the wrap around the TVA, the little corset of muscles that we have called TVA. Open heart, roll the shoulders back and down, feeling the back widening and the armor around the chest area softening as it's opening. It's opening but not becoming stiff and soldier like, opening with softness. Lengthening through the crown of the head, feeling the neck lengthening, elongating. Softening the face muscles, softening the jaw, the gaze. Allowing the fingertips to be heavy, take a few nice deep inhalations, followed by complete exhalations, engaging the core as you begin to breathe, engaging Mula Bandha. Finding our strength and pure alignment at the Start of the class. Let's shift right, shifting the body, the weight, left, right, left, front, back, front, back. Simply feeling the body here. All we're getting is. Um, kinesthetic feedback, not a auditory or mental feedback, visionary feedback, but just the feeling of the body. Inhale the hands over the head, clasping, and keep your alignment here. So all, both shoulders, both hips have to be in the same plane, reaching over to one side and really elongating the torso, look up, lengthen, Back to center, opposite side, look up. Back to center, straight back, exhale, fold, folding, forward. Inhale, hands on the shin bones, look ahead of you. Bending the left knee, left hand on the floor, right arm up and the arms are following the same line. So is the neck. The neck is an elongation to the spine. We're not looking anything like this. We're keeping the neck in alignment with the rest of the spine. Exhale down, opposite side. So we're elongating here. The torso is elongating, we're not curving the spine, the neck, the hands, the arms, lengthening, exhale down, 
Inhale, look ahead of you. Step it back, plank. Spread the fingers wide open, extremely important. Come back to your hand alignment throughout the class. Really press into the base of the thumbs. Very important, the base of each finger. Press into your heels. Pull the belly in and feel the strength of this pose. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Rocking the hips side to side, looking back. Back to Chaturanga, downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up. So your toes are pointing directly down, bring your foot across to your left, across the body just slightly and square the hips, keep them square, drop the foot behind the left leg, walk your hands to the back, forward bend, breathe into your hamstrings and hips. Walk your hands to your left. Take the right hand on the ground, left arm up. Exhale. Walk to the front. Take up one-legged plank, one-legged chaturanga, back to plank. Three knee tucks, one, two, three. Exhale back into one-legged down dog. Bring your foot one more time across and feel that. This is stretching the IT band, hip, hamstring. Great. Step it down. Exhale. Inhale. Left leg comes up. Exhale. It across. Square the hips. Pay attention to alignment here. We're not curving the hips and misaligning. We're trying to find the alignment and find the structure of the body, feel the body, understand the body. Drop the foot behind the right, walk the hands to the back, soften as you breathe. Let's walk the hands over to the right. Keep the left hand down, take the right arm up. Release. Walk to the front. One legged chaturanga. Come back up. And three knee tucks. All the way back into one legged down dog. Bring it across one more time just to feel that stretch. Back to center, step it down. Inhale the right leg up. Step the foot between the hands. Come up, high lunge. Exhale the hands behind, clasping, opening the chest, softening the shoulders. Looking up, softening the gaze. Exhale, lower down, humble warrior. Release the hands down, step it back, plank. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Chaturanga, downward facing dog. Take the left leg up, big breath in, exhale it through, inhale, coming up, high lunge, exhale, reversing the clasp here with the dominant finger under, open, soften, look up,
lower down, humble warrior, forehead towards the ankle, softening the shoulders, pressing into the back foot. Release it down, step it back, plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, back to chaturanga, downward facing dog. Let's look under the right shoulder, under the left, and again to the right, to the left, softening the back of the head. Inhale the right leg up, step it through. High lunge. Exhale behind, soften the shoulders open. Lower down. Humble warrior. And from here, coming up halfway. Chest parallel to the floor, shifting into warrior here with the clasp, level the hips. Let's bring the left hand on the floor. You can keep the right knee slightly bent. Take the right arm up, revolving half moon. From here, stepping all the way back with a twist into High lunge, drop the right hand back, left arm up and around. Windmill the hands all the way to the floor, step it back, plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, chaturanga, exhale, downward facing dog, take the left leg up, step it through high lunge. Finding your clasp again. Here you can experiment with flexing the glutes. And lower down, humble warrior. Halfway up. And let's shift into warrior three. Level the hips, flex the foot. Slightly bending the left knee, bring the right hand down. Left arm up, revolving half moon. Step it back in high lunge with a twist. Bring the right arm up, left hand down on the right leg. Twisting, opening. We nail the hands down, plank. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Chaturanga, down, facing dog. Wiggle the tailbone here, just feeling the pose. Moving your tailbone left and right. Happy puppy <laughs> variation of down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, high lunge. Exhale. Behind, clasping, open. Lower down, halfway down. 
Chest parallel to the floor, twist the right shoulder up, keep your clasp. Great, look down, release the clasp, glide your left hand forward, transition into half moon, revolving half moon pose. From here, step it back, left hand on the floor, side plank. Knee to elbow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, reaching over the head, one-handed plank, lower it down, chaturanga, upward facing dog, chaturanga, Downward facing dog. Take the left leg up, stepping through. High lunge. Finding the clasp. Open the chest. Lower halfway down. Press into the back heel. Twist, left shoulder comes up, soften the shoulders. Looking down, glide the right hand in front. Revolving half moon, the opposite side. And from here, draw it back, side plank. Knee to elbow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one-handed plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, chaturanga, downward facing dog, breathe. Take the right leg up, big breath in, step it through, high lunge, exhale the hands behind clasping, open, straightening the lead knee here, dropping the back heel down, open the chest, look up. From here, begin to lower down in intense side stretch with your clasp. Great, drop the left hand down, take revolving triangle pose. Reach your head of you, press the right hip back, feel the length, exhale down, plank, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, chaturanga, downward facing dog. Big breath in, left leg comes up, step it up. High lunge, reversing the clasp, dominant finger underneath. Now open the chest. Coming out of this, straighten the lead knee, drop the back heel, keep the hips square, and glide the hands down the right leg one more time. Coming out of this, straight back, lower down in intense side stretch with the clasp. Let's bring the right hand down, the left arm up, twisting and revolving triangle pose. You can reach your head or reach up, feeling that left hip, great. 
lower down, blink, press into your thumbs, chaturanga, upward facing dog, chaturanga, downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up, step A through, and we'll windmill the hands straight into warrior two. Strong warrior, looking ahead of you, aligning the knee, the knees, direct it forward. Let's turn the right hand palm facing up and walk the left hand down the left leg, reaching, reaching away from your hip, lengthening away from the hip, straightening the lead knee and reaching even further back, coming out of this, lengthen, triangle pose. Reaching over the head. You can keep a micro bend in your knees. Lower down. And you can lower down onto your forearms. Walking the back, knee further back. Great plank. Press into your thumbs. Chaturanga, strong core. Inhale, open. Chaturanga, exhale, down dog. Inhale, the left leg up. Step it through. Warrior two. Take a nice warrior, knee directed forward, feeling the pelvic alignment, feeling the strength of the pose. Turn the left hand palm facing up, walk the right hand down and bend the knee a little further if you, if you can, so that you can really stretch through the torso. Let's straighten the lead knee, reaching, coming out of this. You can have a micro bend in your knees for triangle pose, reach ahead of you. Triangle. You can reach over the head, reach up, whichever one feels more beneficial. Great, bring the hands down on the ground and lower the back knee down. You can be on your forearm stretching here. Let's step it back, plank. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Chaturanga, downward facing dog. Five deep breaths here. Pressing into your thumbs, lifting through the tailbone. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through, warrior two. Reverse the warrior, 
reaching up and over the head. And exhale, side angle, right hand to the floor, reaching ahead of you. Walk down, transition into half moon, right hand on the floor, open here. Reach back, grab your ankle, open. Release, step it back in warrior two. Reverse the warrior. Side angle, clasping side angle. Arm balance. Step it back. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Chaturanga. Downward dog. Inhale the left leg up. Step it through warrior two. Reverse it. Side angle. You can reach ahead of you. Look down and shift into half moon. Clasp your ankle, optional. And we'll step straight back into warrior two. Reverse it. Side angle. Maybe a clasp under. Arm balance. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Nice deep breath. With the other bundle is involved, the engagement of your belly, solar plexus. Let's drop the forearms on the ground, clasping the hands. Bring your head on the ground into your hands and either take one leg or both into headstand. Pressing into your forearms, lowering down and take white, white stance, white forward bend, white legged forward bend. Left hand on the floor underneath the shoulder, right arm up, change it. Both hands on the floor, take them to the right ankle, take them to the left. For white leg forward bend. Let's point the feet out and come into plie. Reaching side to side. Hands clasping above the head, reaching side to side. Back to center. Hands over the thighs, look over to one side. 
over to the other. Release the hands on the ground. And walk your feet halfway back. Feet pointing out and booty popping up for a little hip stretch. Shifting side to side here. Step it in down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it through. Warrior one. Let's open the arms out, twist, right hand down, left arm up. Straightening the lead knee, reaching further back. From here, reach ahead of you. And instead of revolving triangle, bring your hands all the way on the outside of your right foot and walk them as far out as it feels good for you. Stretching here, you can drop onto the other edge of the right foot and go a little further out. And coming back up. One legged down dog, open the hip, drop it behind, wild thing. Twist here, bring your knee across. One thing or bridge top on the other side. One more time. Lifting and opening. You can transition <coughs> into a wheel. down dog with one leg up. Let's draw a few circles with the knee here. Drop it down. Inhale the left leg up. Step it through. Prepare for warrior one. Press the back heel down. Outer edge of the back foot down. You can have your feet hip width apart or heel to heel alignment and come up hip width apart is a possible option here it allows for the hips to come in a square alignment a little more effortlessly this one requires a little more rotation so you need to keep your knee micro and micro bent in the knee so there is no too much torque in the knee that's the only caution here or one of the main ones reaching up open the arms out twist and reach back. Straightening the lead knee, reaching further back. Coming out of this. Lower down and bring your hands on the outside of the left foot. Feeling this stretch. You can drop onto the outer edge of the foot, flex it and bring it further out. Coming back to the mat, one leg down dog, flex the foot and open the knee up, drop it behind, wild thing coming out, thread the knee through, wild thing or bridge top on one hand and again Last one, feel free to do wheel. Coming out of it, a few circles with your left knee or movement with the left knee, doesn't have to be a circle. Step it down. Let's drop the knees down. Take the right palm facing up, shoulder down on the ground, 
the hand across from the body, twisting, softening the shoulder into the on the mat. Let's go over to the opposite side. Coming up on all fours. Cow, cow pose, really rounding the back. Inhale, look up, rounding the back. Plank, then knee tucks, alternating the knees between the elbows. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Knees on the ground, hip width apart, coming up. Hands on the lower back, fingertips pointing up. Elbows working towards each other. Camel pose, keep pushing the hips forward so that they remain over the knees. And really flex your booty, flex your glutes so that you're bending and protecting the lower back. We're not just pressing back but elongating the lower back. Great. How about child's pose? Great, look ahead of you, down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, warrior one. Little bit of an advanced pose here. Pressing into the upper edge of the back foot, hands in prayer, twist. chest over the thigh, shift into warrior three, coming up to standing, knee into the ribcage, a few circles with your toes, ankle rows, three poles. Now finding the alignment of the body, Therefore, the alignment of the mind. Spread the toes open, really press down, press your foot into your thigh, thigh back into the foot, chest open, lifting to the crown of the head, feeling the body working here, engaging, not just sitting. Drishti point. And once you have established the drishti point and the breath, you can try to close your eyes and see how far you can go with balancing today. And let's open the eyes, open the arms out. Moving. Not like a tree in the wind. 
Release your foot, bring your knee into the rib cage one more time. Grab your foot with your left hand and bring your knee underneath your armpit. Let's bring the right hand on the left foot. Twist here, look behind. Drop the foot up around the leg around. Wrap it around the right leg. Left arm forward, right up. Cross, lower, and I've been enjoying this on membership a lot. <laughs> Bringing the elbows on the one side, on the right side, and on the left side, and on the right. You can release the arms and bring them in, in prayer. And lower down into an arm balance. Great. And shall we do that twist one more time? Lower down, straighten the legs, forward bend, plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga. Downward facing dog, inhale the left leg up, step it through warrior one, find the alignment of your feet, square the hips, hands in prayer, twist, by keeping the back heel down, quite challenging, Coming out of this, warrior three. Slowly coming up, knee into the rib cage. You can move your toes and let's find three poses. Again, find your alignment. Spread the toes, your standing toes, press your Foot into your inner thigh, knee pressing out. Really find that contact between the foot and the inner thigh as part of your grounding here. Your foot, four corners of each foot, pressing firmly into the ground. Shoulders back and down, calm breath. And the mind, <laughs> the mind is not flickering. The mind is just looking, just focusing on the drishti point and once you find that stability you can close your eyes and be still in the face of challenges and open Let's move the arms. Release the stance and you can bring your knee into your ribcage one more time. Same side hand, right hand to right, to right foot, and then in the arm. Changing hands, finding balance again. And you know it will continue balancing for a few more moments. Wrap your right leg around the left, right hand forward, left arm up, lift, and bring the hands to the right, and lift, and wrap it. Unwrap, twist, and let's lower down onto the ground for a little arm balance. Whichever way you want to do this arm balance. And release. Straightening the legs. Forward bend. Step them out. Grab your big toes. Squat down. And we'll sit on the body and roll into plow.
take a nice plow to shoulder stand back to plow knees over the ears rolling out of this and here we will we will bring the hands underneath the body so that our alignment can be perfect and bending at the knees at 90 degrees toe dips one leg at a time engaging the core the reason why the hands are underneath the the body is so that the belly is engaged great slow bicycles three elbows back or really engaging the belly five Six, seven, crisscrossing, eight, nine, ten, bring the right knee into the chest and across a fine twist. Opposite side. Hands behind the knees. And on to the outrageous of the feet, happy baby. Let's rock to sit it and bring the left foot into the right inner thigh, straight back, forward bend. Coming up, bring the knee, leg crossing over, the extended right leg, lower down here, and little hip opener. Straight knee up, reaching with the right hand up, left knee bent, twist, walk behind you. Coming out of this, let's open the knee, flare it out, flex the foot, form of a hip opener, a variation of pigeon, lower down. You can come up to sit it, holding the foot into your form. Flexing the foot, release, opposite side, straight back, lower down, you can give a micro bend in the left knee, coming up, let's bring the right knee over the left foot, working closer to your hip, either stay here or lower down, coming up, twisting, lower the ankle above the knee you can come up here releasing into wide-legged 
forward bend. Side to side reach. Soles of the feet can come together. Lower down onto your back. One deep breath. Hands on the outsides of the knees. Bring them in and really flex as hard as you can. Every muscle in your body, lips, eyes, hands, even toes. Holding the breath, inhaling and holding it. And as you exhale, we'll exhale with a ha sound. So let's inhale now and hold it. And really flex as hard as you can. Letting go of tension, softening the belly, softening the lips, softening the fingertips, softening the hips and the thighs and the chest, relaxing the shoulders consciously, allowing the shoulders to relax. Allowing the feet to drop to the sides. You're not holding yourself here and you're not holding the body in a position. You're letting the body just flop, just be. Rest completely without tension, without holding on. Allowing and letting go. And same goes for the mind. Allowing and letting go, just being. Being freedom. Being fluidity, being strength. Namaste.